Hello, hello, and this is our first playthrough of The Witcher 3 on Death's March. Let's jump into it and pick up right where we left off. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Okay, so we get a little recap there, and it does get updated as well, which is really, really cool to see. So in the last session, we had a lot of, um, a lot of exciting encounters. We've defeated the Griffin in White Orchard. Unfortunately, our stay at White Orchard ended not so nicely because there was a fight that occurred at the tavern but Yennefer did find us. We also I believe anyway completed all the um, side quests in White Orchard as well. Let me actually check that we can uh, we can look through that. So we have well this one is going to be there for a while I think the collection of our Gwent cards um, but we did all these quests over in um, in White Orchard. Quite a few of them actually now that I'm looking at this list. And now we are looking at Imperial Audience in Vizima. So we need, get, we need to get dressed and talk to the Chamberlain. Geralt had spent years looking for Yennefer, only to have her find him. I was just about to say that Yennefer found us at the end of uh, the last session. She had appeared outside the tavern in White Orchard, escorted by Nilfgaardian soldiers. The one-time lovers could not enjoy their reunion, for the sorceress had insisted they make haste. Geralt and Yennefer had then left White Orchard, accompanied by the Nilfgaardians, but only the Witcher and the sorceress reached Fazima. Along their way, their column was attacked by a cavalcade of Wraiths, the omen of the war, the omen of war, the wild hunt. Geralt's head was abuzz with questions. What had Yen gotten into? How had the hunt found them? Why was it looking for them? Why had he been summoned to Vizima? He had to, he was to get his answers from none other than the Emperor of Nilfgaard himself, Amir Va Emrys, the white flame dancing on the grave of his foes, the most powerful man in the known world. Right, so this is a, a pretty big meeting indeed. And at the end of it as well, we had gotten... Shame, uh, I have no time. Oh, the barber. Uh, we had gone bathed, shaved and interrogated as well. So uh, let me check out this room and, and see what we're working with here. We've got some... Oh, we've got some things to loot. Can we loot these? Will they get mad? I'm going to be cheeky and try here. Okay, we got some books directly out of Nordling tales. Oh, okay. So he's see. quite... Oh, saltpeter. Heck yeah. Um, oh, and we can still loot... Oh, my days. Okay, so it's more than one thing to loot here. Okay, so the glow goes away if, we fin if we've uh, finished looting everything. Good to know. Um, maybe we did not. To be reminded, I suppose. Still getting my grips with the game. Uh, oh, okay. We've got a lot of literature upon us. Let's see here. Nothing a shame else. I have no time. Can we speak to you, Baba? Be so kind and do not disturb. Okay, apologies. <laughs> Don't mean to disturb you in your thoughts. Uh, let's see, anything to loot in this room? We're just going to loot everything. They don't seem to mind. Grapes. Grapes are very expensive. But I suppose these are. this is a fancy place, so not surprising. They would have expensive food here. No with prankings. Okay, okay. I think... I think we've looted everything. We had a lot of literature. No much prankings. Oh no, the thing went away. Oh wow, okay, so I have to press R3 in time to um, to actually read that. Let me go to my glossary and books. Okay, so we've got a lot of um, quest books and books. Okay, we've got a lot of things to uh, to go through. Let's read this. His Imperial Majesty Emir Va, Emir Va Emrys. Um, did we read this already? I shouldn't have gone through like that because now I've unhighlighted everything. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go through it. Amir Va Emrys rules to expand. He has trained his strategic brilliance on a singular vision to conquer the world. Though he rightly calls this not conquest but salvation. 
Yes, the Emperor of Nilfgaard sets the world alight with the torch of civilization. Trampling the still warm corpses of his father's usurpers, the Emperor seized the throne and began to assimilate the northern realms, one after the other. Terror engulfed the north, only the Battle of Brenna slowed the Imperial Army's march toward victory. A temporary peace then took hold, though none believed that this mirage would last. Amir's aim to make the entire north a vassal of Nilf Nilfgaard remained unchanged. Amir used peace as a cover to intensify his political efforts. Now all can see their results. Chaos and disorder devour the Nordling states. Ridden with internal bickering and backstabbing, they near collapse. Only a strong ruler can grapple this dysfunction into function. Only a wise ruler can give vision to their blindness. Only Amir, Var and Rhys can save the North. So our armies have again crossed the Yaruga for the third and final time. I think we have read that actually. Um, Okay, of sweat and blood. A veil hangs between the world men see and the one they cannot. This veil blocks the dead from the view of the living and the living from the view of the dead. Some mages can break through this veil and communicate with the dead or else summon them to the world of the sun for short periods of time. This is the art known as necromancy. We read this last session. Hang on, let me go to my inventory. I feel like that might be a bit more effective here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we can see the books here that we've uh, that, we, that we've not read. I think we've uh, we've read that one. That one looks like this. There we go. Okay, so let us sort our items by type. Oh, it's sorted by type. Oh, it's not. Okay, never mind. Um, and we'll go through our books here. There we go. So this is read. This is unread. The opposition in Nilfgaard. Okay, let's read this. Oh, okay, we have a bar on top that shows us all the unread um, books and things. So that's very handy, actually. Right, so while Nilfgaard's emperor wields absolute power, this is the opposition in Nilfgaard, okay. While Nilfgaard's emperor wields absolute power, harshly crushing the slightest sign of disobedience, opposing forces continue to exist within the empire. By this, I do not mean the disgruntled leaders of conquered provinces, but the magnates within, a city, within the city of a thousand towers who are unhappy with the current leadership. This conflict between the emperor and the noble houses of Nilfgaard, the capital dates... The, this end... This conflict between the Emperor and the Noble Houses of Nilfgaard, the capital dates, what? And the Noble Houses of Nilfgaard, oh, Nilfgaard the capital, right, dates back many years. All the princes of blood and magnates expected their ruler to wed one of their daughters and sire, an heir with one of their own. The Emperor, however, had other plans. This proved a slap in the, a slap in the face for all the great families from which he refused to take a bride. How many brides has he meant to take? Um, the Nilfgaardian opposition patiently waits for the emperor to slip up, for some event to occur which will weaken his authority, be it an economic crisis or defeat in battle. A secret conspiracy lies ready to seize such a moment to incite the dis disaffected, assassinate the emperor, and carry out a coup, coup d'etat culminating with one of their own number ascending to the throne. For obvious reasons, only a limited few know of this conspiracy, but any shrewd observer of the Guardian politics can read the signs of its workings. So long as men are men and the world is as it, as it is, certain dynamics will forever remain the same. And the discontented will always form subversive societies with their secret signs and hidden agendas. Okay, very, very big um, conspiracy there. Hang on, sorry, I need a, uh, a sip of water. Apologies here. Okay, the weather on my end has been uh, incredibly, it's been scorching recently, basically, and I've had to um, live in air-conditioned conditions. <laughs> And it makes it really, really dry, so uh, you may get a couple um, sip pauses here. I try to do it in the dialogues. Uh, right, okay, so we have the a letter with Yennefer's instructions. Okay, my dear friend, I had a feeling we wouldn't have a chance to talk before Vizima, so I leave you with this message. I know there's much we both wish to say, but there will come a time for that later. In any case, a letter is no place to broach topics of such importance to us both. So why I write to you now? You have something waiting for you at the royal palace in Vizima. Consider it a gift from Amir and myself. You can pick it up at your leisure after your audience with him. When you exit the throne room, simply follow the covered walkway in the courtyard.
courtyard, turning right at the corner. Then take the first door on your left. You'll be inside a chamber with a fireplace. Take the door in the back right to the adjoining room. There, under the window, you'll find the chest with your gift. But in case these instructions prove too complicated for you, I'm certain the Chamberlain would not hesitate to lead you there himself. Expert tracker that you are, however, I expect you'll manage. Your friend, Yennefer. Okay. The Wonders of Zerikania. Ooh, okay. During my many travels, I have seen countless extraordinary places. The primeval wilds of Brocolon, with trees so high, their tips disappear in the clouds. Dwarven chambers carved into the guts of the Mahaka Mountains, with walls plated in pure gold and ice palace of Pont Venice, adorned with stained frost windows. Yet none of these made such an impression on me as did the rightly famed Zerikania. Yet while I was traversing the fiery mountains, I feared disappointment awaited me on the other side. I had heard many a fantastic tale about Zerikania, about its trackless sands, burnt white by the sun, its golden-scaled dragons weaving their nests amidst the dunes, its hunchbacked horses able to survive weeks without even the swallow of water. Yet none seemed to me at all plausible. I was sure these sensations were but the figments of some bar's overactive imagination. I know this will be hard for you to believe, dear reader, as it once was for me. But all hang on, let me scroll here. But all of the unbelievable tales are true. Not only that, during my many months of travels, I came across wonders far surpassing those any prior travelogues mentioned. I saw temples dedicated to the worship of dragons. I heard their voice, almost human, but reverberating with a thousand echoes. I met warrior maids clad in leopard skins, tattooed from head to foot, and giving no ground to witches in mastery of the blade. I saw mages who channeled power from fire. I saw seemingly harmless flies, whose solitary bites would make a man fall into a deep slumber, never to awake save to die. In short, Zerikania is a land where the fantastic is normal and the impossible occurs daily. Oh my days, it sounds like a wonderfully terrifying place. Um, a sword for witches. Okay. Who are the hunters, you ask? Folk like you and yours, I reply. The decent kind, haters of lies, doers of good. The kind who live according to the gods' laws, and nature's laws too. Those disgusted by the machinations of witches, magickers and non-humans. All that separates us from common folk is that we've the courage to take up arms, to defend our lands from evil, to slice out the gangrene that eats from within us. We haven't a leader, we haven't forts or land. Though gods fearing Rad Radovid supports us with his gold at times, we've not sworn him nor any other ruler any oath. We serve only the eternal fire and we listen only to our own conscience. Who can join us? Any who is right of soul and sound of body. You can find us in every larger set city in the north. We will give you board, lodging and a weapon. We will explain how to spot telltale signs of evil, birthmarks in strange and arcane shapes, smooth skin on a matron aged more than 30 springs, and black cats kept in the yard, to name but a few. We will show you how to defend yourself from witchcraft, how to tame and snuff out magic elements with the the met oh my days, the meritium. We will instruct you how to squeeze the sinner's darkest secrets out of them with a hot iron, and how to grant them cleansing death with the help of sacred fire. Okay. Is this, um, uh, the hunters? Okay. Gnomish prankings. Scrub the greasings from a dog's ear. Okay. Soak in the cotton twine placed in a new lamp of greenish hue and set said lamp betwixt an eager crowd. Forsooth shall they swear that a dog's head they behold, and this shall be no sorcery but good betidings. For the prince of Elander's nuptials, a paltry gnome, armed with a miniature cutlass, behid himself in a pie. When guests partook of the princely banquet, anon jumped out of the besser bread gnome, giving a terrible fright to all at first, then causing much merriment once the jest was figured. A cyno cynocephalus, or a dog head in our tongue, a beast that in the wastes of Zag Zangabar dwells, has the corpus of a man by the head of a dog. The prince of Elanda did receive such a specimen from those far-off lands. The cynocephalus lets stream its urine with the, to with the tolling of every hour, both day and night, and this is why the Zangabarians engrave its likeness on timepieces and compasses. Okay, a little bit of like a law bit there. Love that. Right, so now we have to um, pick an outfit, the Chamberlain said. 
I wonder if we are allowed to leave without an outfit on. <laughs> okay, seems we can't go through that door. We can run. We can't go through this door either. Okay, shall we speak to the Chamberlain again? This might come as news to the gentleman, but a towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman <laughs> will kindly dress. Okay. Sorry, Chamberlain, he did not. He was not amused. Okay, so we have outfit A. Um, I'm not sure if I like the pattern on that one. We have outfit B. I think I'm gonna end up... The collar on this bothers me, I think, a little. Um, and we have outfit C. I'm gonna go for outfit C here. Uh, oh, okay, we loot it. Okay, and we have to get dressed ourselves. Fair enough. Um, inventory. Let's put this... Oh, we really don't have any of our gear okay he really took it all away yeah i think we look good here i think um there we go oh look at him fidgeting with the sleeves right we're looking smart i hope uh let's uh let's speak to the chamberlain again and they say clothes do not make the man does the outfit satisfy the gentleman okay um, okay, suppose so, or let me try something else. Suppose so, I think. A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South, I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Oh boy. Uh, confirm away. I'm not a bore. I know how to bow. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be civil here and go confirm away. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Okay. <laughs> uh, I did not register any of that. Um, right leg forward, left hand on chest. He had his right hand on his chest, left leg forward, right hand on his chest. Left leg back, hands at the side. Um, left leg forward, right hand on chest. Let's go with that. Hmm... Lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Oh my days. Okay. Okay, okay. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. I am your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Okay. In grimi et art kerzer, daifen aden in karn eb marvut, emir var emreis. Wow. Ooh. Um, oh, don't do this to me. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen, vat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Oh. Why me? She's back, you're sure. 
I mean, isn't she our, what, what they call it? The destined child or something? Uh, let's go it. she's back, you're sure? Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I'd drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. Ooh. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that after the audience. Okay. Well, let's go why me. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Okay. Uh, neat information, not motivation. Only doing this for Siri. That portrait of her, by the way, is amazing. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go with only doing this for Siri. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. We got dressed just for that. Well, I suppose he is the emperor after all. I did not know that that was Siri's well, father. If the gentleman pleases, please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. <laughs> okay, well. I like how straightforward Geralt is. Um, Yen's letter said that he would lead us um, to the uh, to the prize or treasure what? or gift. Sorry, I suppose. Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herivard the second, Prince the of Elan. I'm just holding down the Witcher senses to see if I can loot anything. And see bread knife, I'll take that. They must have forgotten I got that in there. Helping you clean up, Chamberlain. No worries. God damn, there are a lot of people here. Will he get mad if we like you know? Talk to other people? I have no idea what language that is, but it sounds very pretty, I'll tell you that. Nilf Guardian, I suppose. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Okay, thank you. I forgot what his name is. Oh! Okay, okay. Yes? Then transcribe. The true Ooh. authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild. Oh, isn't this the, the guy who interrogated us earlier? And the criminal no, it's underworld. not. It's a totally times, different it person. To my bad. One from the other. That was like a general, I think, the one who interrogated us. Oh my, something happened here. Yeah, everything is uh, strewn on the ground. A dumpling, I'll take that. Okay, we're gonna loot. Oh, quicksilver solution. Heck yeah. Okay. Very smoky in this corner. Bread, smoking pipe, okay. Let's see. I'm looting everything in this palace. <laughs> Ooh, royal lineages of the north. Read that. Aha! Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, born in 1251, heiress to the throne of Sintra, princess of Bruges and duchess of Sodden, heiress to Innis Ard Skellige and Innis Ard Skellige. Anskelige and 
Whoa, suzerain of Arta and Abiara, daughter of Pavetta, see Pavetta Fiona Ellen, and the Urshion of Ellen Ward, see Amir Va and Rhys, granddaughter of the famous lioness of Sintra, Queen Calanth, see Calanth, is it Cal Calanth? Calanth Fiona Rhiannon. A shipwreck occurred during a journey from Sintra to Skellige, which took the lives of the Urshion and Pavetta. Cyrilla's further upbringing was then entrusted to her grandmother. In 1260, afraid of the looming Nilfgaardian threat, Queen Calantha sent Cyrilla to the court of King Ervil, see Ervil of Verdun, where the heiress of Sintra was to marry the heir to the throne of Verdun, Prince Kirstrin, sorry, Prince Kistrin, Kistrin, see Kistrin of Verdun, though allying with Verdun and gaining the aid of that realm's army, was at the time Calantha's top priority. No marriage ever occurred and Cyrilla returned to her grandmother's court. In 1262, during the so-called Sintra Massacre, Cyrilla went missing. And then it ends there, okay. <laughs> so I guess we're finding Ciri. What shall become of Tamaria? What shall become of Tamaria? Tamaria, a land where milk and honey once flowed. In what did she wrong the gods that they should treat her also cruelly? The pearl of the north to some, she proved a galloping range for Nilfgaardian cavalry to others. As a country, it had survived two previous wars against the empire. It was here that the war's bloodiest battles were fought. It was in Tamaria where the most bestial deeds were wrought. It was Tamarian civilians who bore the full brunt of these war's horrors. And bear them we did, bravely and steadfastly, until the demise of our great protector, King Faltest. Then Providence turned its fickle face from Tamaria. Murdered most treacherously, Faltest failed to leave Tamaria a worthy successor. And so all manner of curse soon fell upon her, tearing her apart like so much carrion. She had no more allies then. None remembered that we had once been the armour protecting the north from the designs of the mad dancer, he who had the gravestones of his foes pounded into a ballroom floor. A free and independent Tamaria is no more, a dark-faced sun looms over her every rampart, yet we Tamarians live on and always will. As long as folk believe, the usurper who took our beloved capital, Vizima, to treat as his property will forever peer over his shoulder in fear, for in the shadows lurks not one dagger, but the power of a nation of daggers, waiting to deal justice's blow. Okay. Um, I'm guessing that's referring to shame I have Amir no Amri's Van. I, I don't remember. Amri? Um, Amri's? I don't know. His, uh, his full name. Some dried fruit. That's new. Take that. A portrayal of the elder races. Okay. Ooh. What is a non-human? The answer is simple. As the very name suggests, it is something which resembles and yet nevertheless is not a human. Though it walks on two legs, speaks a tongue similar to our own and dresses in a similar attire, it at all... It all the same has more in common with base beast than noble man. Dwarves are like moles. They feel best underground and avoid direct sunlight. They like to live in filth, forever smudging themselves in mud and slime. They love everything that can be found within the earth, rocks, metal, minerals of all shape and colour. It is also said that like their kindred moles, they feed most readily on worms, roaches and other night crawlers. What is this book? Hang on. <laughs> Halflings, for their part, are most reminiscent of gophers. This book is uh, <laughs> a little bit offensive, I think. Fat, lazy and loud in that typical rodent way, their minds are filled with only with thoughts of food and drink, which they steal from other, nobler beasts and greedily squirrel, squirrel away within their hovels. They are marked with, by a cruel craftiness. You could be dying of hunger and they would not share a meal with you. You could be howling from poverty and they could be swimming in gold and yet they would still fleece you to the last crown. You could do nothing but good to them and they would still stab a knife in your back. Okay, elves in turn seem to relate seem related to the birds of prey that dwell in far off Zerikania. They care most for coloured feathers, they would most readily spend all day staring at their reflections in the water and singing their own praises. They are so awash in self love that they no longer feel any desire toward members of the opposite sex in their own species. Their appearance unquestionably 
pleasant to the eye, is highly misleading, for they are extraordinarily cruel and any who judge them by looks alone they first dupe, and then kill in cold blood. The best proof of this, the so-called so soya, soya tail, I'm gonna go with soya tail, soya tail bandits that came that claim to fight for freedom, but in truth only long to kill humans. All these vile so-called elder races are, to our great fortune, slowly dying out. Joy fills the hearts of every right-thinking man at the thought that his great-grandchildren will never know them, that in their days dwarfs, halflings and elves will be mere fairy tales used to scare young, impressionable children. Okay, that is, um, that is certainly a book and a half. Oh. Oh, hello. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now, or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. The drawing is really, really good there. So they're our agents now. Yeah, all grown up. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. How about that? She's grown up? It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. <laughs> but let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods to the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. Okay. Uh, what's the Wild Hunt want from Ciri? Isn't she meant to be, like, super powerful? The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. <laughs> I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Hmm. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. Okay. So where's Ciri been seen? So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novograd. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. Mm. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Oh. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skelliger. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Okay. Okay, so it's pronounced Skelliger. I'm so sorry I, that I had mispronounced it before. I may mispronounce it again. Uh, okay, before we part, why didn't you contact me earlier? One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. 
Really? That's your excuse? Ooh. Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Oh no, what? Okay, I'm guessing this might have been something that happened in the previous games. Um, oh no, but okay, I don't know who Triss is, but um, I'm curious to meet who Triss is. If she can get the attention and affection of uh, Geralt, she must be certainly some lady. Um, but so far, I only know who Yennefer is, and I like Yennefer. Um, so I don't know if this is something we can mend or not, but uh, time to get going. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Ooh. I shall be waiting. Oh, okay. At least we got a little kiss. Oh my days. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, character entry added. Triss Marigold. Oh, 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 wow. That is so cool. I thought Yen said no more magic, but I suppose maybe she meant magic for tracking Siri specifically. Oh my days. I'm sorry. Uh, that was a little bit. It's a little bit spicy and I enjoyed it, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, okay, let's loot everything since, again, no one seems to mind. So I'm going to get everything that I can get um, from this uh, from this area. A silver ingot would be nice. Oh, okay, orins, some rune stones, diagram, Skelliger Gamberson. Okay, torn oak page, werewolf decoction. Make all of that. Uh, take this. Ooh, a letter found in Yennefer's chest. Nine-tailed vixen steel sword. Nine-tailed vixen silver sword. White tiger of the west armor. Ooh, a full set. Letter found in Yennefer's chest. Yeah, we will um, we'll read that in a bit. Cause we've got we've got a whole bunch of things. Dimeritium ore. Okay. Last wish. Okay. Apple juice, we'll take that. Anything else here? Oh, loads of things here. Oh, a little pouch, can I have that? The collected verse of Gonzal de Vasio. Take that. I don't think that's red there, or am I crazy? I was crazy, okay. Can we, can we pick this up? Why can't we pick this up? Oh, not anymore. Or maybe? No. Okay. Rusty bread knife again. Another one. We get we're getting copies of the same books. We have those books already. Okay, take all that. <gasps> Ooh. Can we take it? Scars healed nicely. Ooh, okay. That is a very, very good sketch. Can we not take the books and things on the ground? We can move them. Okay, well, let's look at our... in. Oh, we can't look at our... Why can't we look at our inventory? Retrieve your equipment from the Chamberlain. Oh, but I want to read the books! <laughs> yeah, I guess we're reading the books later. Let's speak to this person. Directly Ambassador Var Ater. Yen said we should speak to them. Uh, let me look at these shelves first before I do. Pearls of the North. Okay. A sword for witches. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Aha! Now we can access all our unread books. Okay. So, Pearls of the North, Novigrad. 
No one can claim to have travelled the northern realms who has not been to Novigrad. If I were forced to list what during my many meanderings has made the greatest impression of, on me, it would be precisely this great and yet at the same time free city. The metropolis worthy of the empire, a metropolis, sorry, worthy of the empire, its only flaw is that the civilization Nilfgaard carries within her has not yet enlightened it. This is why hordes of reactionary cultists of the eternal fire dwell in the midst of its excellent buildings and superb commercial infrastructure. One feels as though superstition is how the local hierarch and his temple guards cement their power over the city dwellers, and many they are to control, for the city counts no less than 30 thousands of inhabitants okay big city um, while strolling through its fabulous port surrounded by marvels of architecture it is hard to imagine that centuries ago Novigrad was a mere minor elven townstead when the city fell into the hands of the Nordlings its problems grew exponentially for as is well known the people of the north can do a great many things but peaceful and orderly cohabitation is not one of them and so Novigrad first belonged to Redania and then fell under Temerian rule until finally after endless compromises and bargains it at last became a free city. But is the city truly free? I dare, I dare to doubt it. Redanian influence makes itself felt too strongly on every street corner, and the fact that the city is located within Radovid's territory speaks for itself. While wandering the city streets, I came across four water mills, eight banks and nearly 19 pawn shops. There are also a great many houses of simple pleasures such as taverns and brothels, and Novigrad's commitment to matters of faith is borne witness to witnessed to by the fact that the city contains no less than, I kid you not, 19 temples to the eternal fire. What more can be said? I think Novigrad has all the makings of the capital of the world, and perhaps that is what, will, what it will one day become. First, however, someone needs to bring order within her, order to within her walls. Okay. Letter found in Yennefer's chest. Okay. Oh my days. Okay. My dear friend, if you are reading this, it means you found the chest I mentioned in my previous letter. You'll be pleased to know its contents belong to you. Okay, very pleased to know. After I spoke with the Emperor regarding additional resources to aid in your quest, he was willing to part with these items from his personal collection. Although he was stubbornly cryptic regarding their origins, he did mention they were diplomatic gifts from distant kingdoms. The tiger armour is specifically designed to suit a western ruler, obviously a mere in this case. It was forged in the ancient style of a blacksmith who stole the secrets of its construction from their gods, or so the legend goes. The sword, to my eye, resembled a Redanian saber, though I'm no expert. These blades supposedly once belonged to a hero of myth and mystery. The man forged a pact with a vixen spirit and, through her blessing, was granted the ability to slay the monsters that had long plagued this village. As you'll notice, he carried both a steel and silver sword, a fact I thought might pique your interest. Yes. Unfortunately, legends are all like can offer. As I said, Amir was stingy with the details, even more so than usual. It's a shame because I must admit I haven't the faintest idea where they might originate. That being said, I do believe Zerikania and Ophir can safely be ruled out. Dear friend, I trust you will appreciate my efforts to help. Use these gifts as you see fit. I hope they will hasten your search for that which we have lost. Your friend, Yennefer. Okay. The last wish. It all began when Geralt and I were feeling a bit peckish and unburdened by heavy coin pouches, decided to wish to fish our supper out of a lake. No bites were to be had, but we did not leave empty-handed. My hook snagged quite a lovely little pot. Oblivious to my friend's warnings, I opened it and in doing so freed a powerful gin. Without giving it much thought, I set about proclaiming my wishes. Before I could get to three, however, the gin, irritated I see now in hindsight, at issued being demand so soon after waking began to throttle me. <laughs> Geralt was able to drive him off, but I was left in a sorry state. I acted. The Witcher told me later, as though I was under the influence of some curse. Clearly, the help of an expert in the magic arcana would be needed. It was our good fortune that Yennefer of Vengerberg happened to be staying in a nearby village. Geralt went to, uh, went to her to ask that she heal his best friend, 
who happened also to be the brightest star in the North's poetic firmament. Yennefer, however, was more interested in the djinn, which she wanted to trap into magic servitude than, its, and than in its victim, and it should be said that the... Uh, that it should be said played the witcher like a well-strung mandolin. Yet, rather than grow angry at being used in such a calculating manner, he fell white head over muddy boots in love with her. What happened then? Well, I won't go into details. Suffice to say that Yennefer's plans hardly delighted the djinn, and without its cooperation, she proved unable to tame it. The sorceress would surely have met a tragic end and taken all of Rind along with her. Had Geralt not rushed to her rescue, for once, he did not need to draw either of his blades to send the djinn packing. He had but to pronounce the third and final wish. He could have asked for anything, wealth, fame, power, but instead he asked the djinn to bind his fate to that of the arrogant yet intriguing sorceress from Vengerberg. Oh. Julian Alfred Pankratz, this Viscount of Lettenhove, born 1232, award-winning poet, playwright, and troubadour, frequent performer at the courts of Niedermere, Vizemir, Venslav, and other noble and notables, alumnus of Oxenfurt Academy. Is that Dandelion's real name, I'm guessing? Okay, so our fates are bound to Yennefer. The collected verse of Gonzal de Vasio. Love. To love is to build a house of cards or play a game of chess, but one wrong word or ill-thought move and you must start it all afresh. Tide. Whenever I watch the tide recede, cold coils of fear grip round my heart. Will the seas sneak back, calm and sure, in the dark of night as they have before? Or will they stay on distant shores, leaving crushed shells and washed up dreams as memories of serfs of yore? Huh. The wild hunt. From farmers and herdsmen, milkmaids to midwives, all the common folk of the continent whisper, sharing a tale of a wraithly procession pounding across the sky. The wild hunt, they call it. Winds and gales, storms and blizzards arise when it is sighted, and all grows cold, though the sun shone bright moments before. Some remember only the cold from the shock of the encounter and claim the riders come always in winter. But nay, this is not so. The hunt bring its own, brings its own ice. Death and war gallop in its wake, or so the superstition goes. Yet evil enough is the hunt itself. It takes folk captive, youths most often, in the prime of their wilding years, with 10 to 20 summers behind them. The hunt rushes in and they, and they disappear, only to return young, long years later with no memory of what passed in the time between. Oh. Oh, bookworm. Read 30 books, journals, or other documents. Nice, we got an achievement. Um, a letter to Yennefer. Yennefer, my dear friend, thank you for your letter. Forgive me for not answering your earlier attempt to reach me via Megascope. I'm trying to limit my magic communication to, ab to the absolute minimum. One never knows who's listening, don't you agree? I am delighted you have found a position at our gracious Emperor's court and wish you the best of luck in the search for his daughter. It is good to know that Amir's intentions for her have become more, how shall I put it, mundane. Perhaps in these circumstances, an agreement regarding the lodge will prove possible after all. Okay, let me scroll here. In response to your first question, I can state beyond all doubt that Siri has not appeared anywhere south of the Yaruga. Believe me, I could recognize her magic signature in my sleep. I have not had any contact with Triss for a long time. I only know that things in Novigrad have taken an ill turn. She mentioned something earlier about fleeing to Kovia but I am afraid that in the current political climate, that amounts to an impossible daydream. I hope I will soon be able to join you in Vizima. How first, however, I must take care of some unfortunate yet urgent matters in Beauclair. With my fondest regards, Fringilla Vigo. P.S. Thank you for the news about Geralt. He always seems to land on his feet, doesn't he? Huh. Okay. Uh, well, well. I think I've read that. Have I read that? Who are the hunters, you ask? Folk like your, you and yours, I reply. The decent kind 
Haters of lies, doers of good, the kind who live according to the gods' laws and nature's laws too, those disgusted by the machinations of witches, magickers and non-humans. All that separates us from the common folk is that we've the courage to take up arms, to defend our lands from evil, to slice out the, grang the gangrene that eats us from within. We haven't a leader, we haven't fought or land. The gods fearing Radovid supports us with his gold at times. We've not sworn him nor any other ruler any oath. We serve only the eternal fire and we listen only to our own conscience. Isn't this the one with all the churches? Um, who can join us? Any who is right of soul and sound of body. You can find us in every larger city in the north. We will give you board, lodging and a weapon. We will explain how to spot the telltale signs of evil, birthmarks in strange and arcane shapes, smooth skin on a matron aged more than 30 springs and black cats kept in the yard to name a few. But we will show you how to defend yourself from witchcraft, how to tame and snuff out magic elements with the demer demeritium. We will instruct you how to squeeze the sinner's darkest secrets out of them with a hot iron and how to grant them cleansing death with the help of sacred fire. Okay. Well, we have a scribe here and we have the ambassador have here. No time. Ambassador Varatra, uh -huh. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Okay, um, how's the war going? What's the situation in Velen? What's new in Novigrad? What's the latest from Skelliger? Uh, how's the war going? How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, Instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. Okay. Is that a note of admiration I hear? What about Kovia? Ooh, let's poke him over at the admiration thing. That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools, particularly dense ones at that. Returning to the war, this spring, there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching? Not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Okay. Uh, what's the situation in Velen? Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm hmm So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is. And Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. 
Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well. Avoid him. Oh, okay. Uh, what's new in Novigrad? Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Hmm, okay. A bit sad. I, I, I don't know anything much apart from what I've read in the uh, books that we've picked up so far. Uh, but Novigrad sounds like a cool place with the free city, you know, aspect of it. Uh, what's the latest from Skellige? What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Hmm. Okay. Well, thank you for your help. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Oh, oops. Ah. <laughs> oh, we can bump into people. Okay, sorry, Ambassador. Did not mean to do that. Uh, let's speak to the uh, the scribe. Oh no, I should have spoken to the scribe. Did he leave? I think he may have left. Okay. Well, that is that then. Let us go out the door. And oh, how might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Okay. Overburdened. You are overburdened. Geralt is carrying too many items. If you load yourself down with too much loot, you won't be able to run or sprint. A, uh, uh, that symbol will appear on your screen to let you know you're overburdened. You can check how much weight you're carrying in the inventory panel, get rid of unwanted items by throwing them on the ground, selling them or getting a craftsman to dismantle them. If you want to carry more, upgrade your horse's saddlebags. Okay. Uh, don't worry not, we have, we have a perk for that, um, since we're in a, I don't think we'll be fighting anytime soon, I hope not anyway, <laughs> either way we should be fine, let's see what we have here, this is a rage management and this is muscle memory, okay, so I'm going to replace muscle memory, I think rage management actually, with strong back, and we're no longer overburdened, easy to oh. Okay, cool. Uh, new marker, Hanged Man's Tree. New marker, Royal Place Palace in Vizima. New quest, Nilfgaardian Connection. Oh my days, there's a lot. Okay, so let me look at the map. To switch to the continent view, press triangle. Ooh, to return to the map of the region where you are currently located, press triangle. 
To open the map of a given region, move the cursor over that region and press X. Okay, so now we have access to all this. <gasps> Kimorin. Kimorin, meaning the Keep of the Sea of Yore, is home to a school of witches. Years ago, the keep was destroyed and its inhabitants murdered during a massive pogrom. What is pogrom? Pogrom? We're currently only a handful of witches winter here before setting out again on the path. Suggested level 19 for canal, okay. Um, white Orchard, this well to do village, is famous for its fruit orchards whose bows burst out in white blossoms come spring. Okay. The Dushi of Tucson, uh, a vassal Dushi of Nilfgaard, widely considered a beautiful fable like land where everyone is eternally tipsy. Uh, that sounds like a fun place. Um, and then we have Velen, No Man's Land. The former Tiberian province of Velen has become a war-ravaged No Man's Land. We have Novigrad. Once part of Redania, Novigrad now has the status of a free city. It is the world's largest city and without a doubt the richest as well. Cradle of the cult of the Eternal Fire, it is now home to the church of the same name. It is ruled officially by the head of church of the church referred to as the Hierarch. Although its underworld crime bosses also have a great deal of say in matters. Okay, the Skellige Isles. The Skellige Archipelago is home to the fierce warrior sailors whom continentals regard as pirates, and not without reason, for the isles are barren and their inhabitants' livelihood comes mainly from plundering the seas. The land on these five large isles is divided between its clans, the heads of which are called Yals. Okay. So we are now in the royal palace of Vizima, one time home of the kings of Temeria, currently occupied by Nilfgaard. Okay, so let's go to our inventory here and let's look at our new items that we got. Did we get Maribor? No, no. Wait. Um, a rusty Novigrad sword. Witch's Silver Sword. Okay, that's our. those are our weapons. There. Nine-Tailed Evixed Steel Sword. We need level 11 for that. Oh, bloody hell. And this as well. The White Tiger of the West Armor. Okay, well, we need to level up a little more then. Um, ooh, there's a quest giver here. Who's that? You. A Nilfgaardian nobleman. Hello. Mm. Oh. <gasps> it's Gwent. Oh, okay, Gwent, play with me. Um, hang on, we'll do see you first. See you. Uh, I want to look at my deck. Oh my days, we can play Gwent. I, I kind of want to play Gwent. Okay, um, let's do... Let's look at our Gwent deck. We have everything, I think. Um, but we can actually... Oh, we don't have enough cards in these other types. <gasps> Ooh, okay. But one randomly chosen monster unit card stays on the battlefield after each round. But we can we build a deck? Based on this or not? We might be able to. I don't have any cards in that unit, that's the thing. Okay, what does this one do? Faultist. Um, can we change leaders? Aha, okay. It is natural and beautiful that a man should love his sister. Oh, that is um, mm. uh, leader ability. Pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instant instantly. Okay, I only have one leader card, so uh, square tail. Square tail. Um, do we have this? No, we don't have a lot of uh, cards here. Maybe we'll try our default deck and see how we go. I think he might have a card for us if we beat him. Okay, Gwent, play with me. To place a bet, choose an amount using the left stick and confirm it by pressing X. This amount will be added to the pot. If you win, you will get back twice as much. Oh my days. Um, I'm going to quick save here. You cannot save your game right now. That's fine. Um, uh, oh, why? why Safe bet amount. No, no. Hang on. I think because I used my keyboard in an attempt to quick save, it's now not letting me use my... Oh no, everything's wigging out. Okay, I'm going to try to... I'm gonna... I have to like switch between the two? I'm gonna bet 10. I'm gonna go all in. Okay. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Oh god, am I going to lose this? I might lose this. Okay. Um, let's see here. This, these are 
melee units. Okay, they don't have a lot of power to them, but let's see what we have. We have poor fucking infantry. Um, maybe we want to replace that with Yarpen. Okay, remove this card. Put Yarpen in. Okay, and the... Uh, what does this have? Hang on. Zoom. There we go. This one has tight bond. Place next to a card with the same name. Oh, to double the strength of both cards. Oh, okay, never mind. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Well, we can take this away and put the poor fucking infantry back. And I think that is a... Uh, I think that's all I can do. I don't really have that many cards. Yeah. Oh my god, the music is so good. Okay. We'll, we'll see, we'll do our best, let's start the game. I'll go first, alright. Okay, Impenetrable Fog sets the strength of all ranged combat cards to 1 for both players. Same thing here. This is Siege combat cards. This is... Removes all weather cards. Okay. Um, poor fucking infantry. Eyes of War veterans, spare me a crown. Uh, we have Kray Dwani. Uh, Kadwani Siege Expert, okay. Um, Zoltan. I, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna save. We might try... I don't know, I don't have anything good here. Dun Banner Medic. Choose one card from your discard pile and play it instantly. Ooh. Okay, we can save that for a later round. I think what we can do is, uh... Since we have two of these, I'll play this weather card for now. Oh. No, I've just redrawn. Okay, well, that's actually also not bad, actually. Um, I'm gonna redraw the poor fucking infantry. Oh, no. Uh, I'm gonna redraw this. I have two of these. Oh, and we got the poor fucking infantry, actually. That's great. Okay. Um, I'm gonna play... What is this one? Hang on. Zoom. Uh, place your opponent's battlefield. Place on your opponent's battlefield. Counts towards opponent's total and draw two cards from your deck. Oh, it's a spy. Ooh, but it gives him five. But then we get to draw two cards. Maybe we'll play this first. This is a bit spicy, but we might. I don't mind losing the first round. Yeah. Okay. We get two cards. Did we get any good cards? Did we only get weather cards? Okay, we can use a weather card. Okay, he got Emrys out. Okay. Um, what are these? This is for... I want the melee. Close combat. Biting frost. I guess... This is a risk. I'm gonna pass? I think? I've got 11 cards in my hand. He's got 10. So if anything we can uh Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what happens if we pass here. If he passes he'll win the first round. Yeah, okay, okay, that's fine. That goes in the discard, yeah. Okay, what are you gonna put down, sir? Oh they've passed. Okay. But then I can do this, no? Even just Yarpen? We'll put Yarpen down? He's passed? So don't I win? Am I confused? Yeah, okay, 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 so all in now. This is the last round. I, I have so many cards to play. Northern Realms faction ability triggered. I didn't read that in time, sorry. Um, okay, well, I guess we're gonna go all in here. I think we can play as many cards as we want, right? This is the final round. Okay, so we're gonna put these two out. The poor fucking infantry. Oh, it's their turn. Oh my days. He's got a 10 on that. Bloody hell. Okay, we're gonna put poor fucking infantry down. Okay, okay. What you got, sir? He's got nine cards left. I've got nine cards left. Oh my days, that's so huge, those cards. Oh, wait, what was that? Hang on, I wanna see what that was. 
Choose one card from your discard pile and play it instantly. <gasps> wow, that spy card came back to us. That's so good. <laughs> oh my days. Okay, that was brilliant. Okay, hang on. Um, I have this. I have that as well. Doing a banner medic, yeah. And we'll get Yarpen back out. Okay, okay. I can clear weather, that's fine. No big deal. I've got other cards as well, anyway. Um, we'll put this siege unit down. Ballista. Okay. I might run out of cards before he does, actually. Um, hang on, this one. Usually we give them female names, like Jenny. More like Bertha. <laughs> uh, okay, we have... Uh, I'm gonna actually... Well, he's also, like, nerfed his unit, so... Can we play a weather card? That will nerf his units here. What's this one here? Place next to a card with the same name to double the strength of Bo's cards. Wow, bloody hell. Okay, maybe we don't want to clear weather. Um, we're going to put this down. Okay, okay, okay. Decoy. What's that for? I don't know what that does. Swap with a card on the battlefield to return it to your hand. But this is the last round, isn't it? Pass, 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 no! <laughs> oh no, I might lose this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. He's got... He's still got that card in his hand. Uh, hang on, let me see what happens if I play this. Siege combat, no. I'm gonna go for range and see what happens here. This may not be smart. But we're gonna go... His range... Oh, okay, it, it adds on. Okay, 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 it hacks on. Scorch. Oh, can I don't know? Oh my days, I think I'm gonna lose. Um, maybe... Does it add on? Does it tack on? Does it add on even more? I'm gonna play this, this is all I have left. Oh no. I think he's gonna win, he's got another card he could pull out. I don't have anything else. What if I clear the weather? Would that be risky? I'm gonna clear the weather and see. Maybe the weather cards are gonna save me. I've got two cards. How did I have two cards left? I had more cards before. Okay, he's got 39. But if I do this... No, he still beats me. Oh my days. Oh no, he kicked my ass. Absolutely, he kicked my ass. I can't do anything. That's it. Okay, maybe I should not have let him win the, win the first round. Okay. Well, GG, Mr. Nilfgaardian Nobleman. I will have to, uh, let's, uh, can we mark this? Yeah. Can we mark where we're at? Can we can we play him again is the thing? We'll just put that as that. Okay. Um, well. That was fun. I'm still trying to get a grip on the game. I'm not sure how, how to play it properly. Um, but I'm sure we will learn over time. And I would like to get some new cards. Oh, did that guy just spit at me? I think he did. Oh, fast travel. Okay, so we're in the palace. We can't really uh, do anything. Okay, well. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to uh, equip all my items again, I think. Uh, let's see what I had here. Let's. What happens if we take this off? Oh my. Hazard. Okay. Well, let's put on our books. 
quite level one. It needs repair. Um, I think we'll put these back on. Where's my armor? Do I not have armor? No, I had this. Yeah, yeah. And then my trousers. What was I wearing? Was I wearing this? I was? Okay, and gloves. Oh, I had the blue ones on, I think. Let's see. Where is my compare? L2. Okay, um, minus one here. This one. No. Cavalry boots. Doesn't have the Igni boost. Okay, let's put our swords back on. I think this was the one. And our silver sword. And we had a crossbow as well. That Vesemir gave us. Okay. I think that is uh, that is that. Oh, I see something. I see something. I was looking for it before. Trophy. Aha. Okay, we have a 10% chance to dismember. Strap trophies to your saddle to receive a bonus. Where do we find trophies? Oh, it's on Roach's item things. Okay, what do we get from this one? 5% bonus experience from humans and non-humans. Oh, we're going to put that on, absolutely. And uh, we have the saddle equipped already, so we're good. Alright, off we go. Let's fast travel. Uh, let's go to... Um, oh, we can return to White Orchard, so we can go buy all the cards, the Gwent cards from the uh, the merchants. I don't know if they'll like us going back, though. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Velen, I suppose. Velen, No Man's Land, The Hanged Tree. I see a notice board and things like that already. Oh my days. Okay, we're gonna have Carol a fun time. Carol and would be united if something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Okay, Cirilla. I think that's how that's pronounced. Ooh. Five days later. Fucking hell. Took us a long time, hey? Oh my, that's a grim sight. That's a really cool shot though. Okay, Hearts of Stone. Oh! Thank you for purchasing the Hearts of Stone expansion. Your currently Trek quest has been changed to the first quest of Hearts of Stone. Yet we only recommend starting it if your character is at least level 30. Have fun and good luck on the path. That's not, that's not, that's not what I want to do. Rune Rite. While playing the Hearts of Stone expansion, you can encounter a Rune Rite marked by the icon on your map. This new craftsman, the only of his kind, comes from a far off land and can use his arcane knowledge to considerably improve your equip equipment. Seek him out and see for yourself. Uh, Blood and Wine, welcome to the Blood and Wine expansion. In this mode, all the quests of the main storyline are still available to you. You begin playing quests from Blood and Wine. To begin playing quests from Blood and Wine, you must first complete a Poet Under Pressure quest. Okay. Um... I thought we were meant to come here. Are we not? The Nilfgaardian connection. Okay, let's check our quests here. Uh, quest difficulty. Some quests might be too difficult for you at the moment. Each quest has a suggested level shown next to its name. Once your character reaches that level, you're ready to take on that quest. Uh, yeah. Okay, level 5. I think we can actually... We're fine. Uh, in series footsteps. Yeah, we got that. Let's go to the inn at the crossroads. Um, okay, yeah, let's let's do that. We have some beasties already. I see some red dots on the map. I don't know. What, what a wild dog! Oh my days! Okay, let's uh, the okay, okay, okay. It's happening! It's happening! Oh, oh. Okay, we have a lot of wild dogs. I don't really want to kill wild dogs, but. Oh. 
We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Any loot? Okay, dog tallow. Raw meat, raw meat is good, raw meat is good. We can eat that. Uh, okay, um, let's actually change my um, items here. Oh no, I didn't mean to drink that. My bad. Um, well, that was a, that's a potion gone. <laughs> Let me change it up here before I mess up any further. Um, unequip and raw meat. What do we have for food? Uh, we picked up a lot of food. We got dumplings. We can put that there. I was trying to. I was trying to trying to eat some food, and I forgot to quen up actually during that fight. But it's fine. Oh, we got new new herbs and things. Okay, okay, okay. I dig that. I dig that. Um, we should go to the um, the closest town and read the notice board because that should give us all the interesting places on our map to uh, explore. I'm not reading these herbs. I should. Uh, Celadine. Caladine. This is Han Fiber. Okay, okay, okay. And then we have... What have we got here? Prin Grape. Okay. Go to the inn at the crossroads. Yep, we're going. I'm gonna... I know I know Roach is around, but uh, I think I like walking around more. White Myrtle Petals. Okay. Actually, let me see how far it is. Uh, oh, we're uh, quite a ways away, but actually, we can, we can go here. Let's go there. What's here? A little, like, settlement here. Let's go see. Loads of herbs around us to pick up. Oh, what's that? I did not pick. I did not see. My bad. Just I instantly. Rib leaf. Okay. More rib leaf. Okay, let's go. Let's go read the notice board first before I get distracted. An old woman. Greetings. Hello, old woman. Yeah. Okay. Seem a bit nicer than the white orchard citizens because. Uh, they were all like very against the witches, weren't they? You. Oh, did we did we get the signpost? I think Bloody we did. Okay, let's read the um the notice board here. Yeah. Oh my day, someone is uh, hawking a loogie. Uh, all right, let's read this. Okay, Forefather's Eve approaches. Twill soon be Forefather's Eve, tormented souls, souls who've not known rest after death, hungry, tired, scared ghosts. They'll soon walk among us. We'll carve the jacks and send them into the next world with chant, prayer, and kind words. Prepare yourself, Pella. Okay. Darlin Ainzaith. I am not going to read this note. I'm probably going to mispronounce every single word on here, but okay. Uh, a plea. Kind folk, for lack of better fare, I fed my young'uns pancakes made of ground acorn. The poor tykes lane... The poor tykes have lain on the straw for three days since, their bellies growling something awful, getting sick and crying without end. If you know how to help, come to my hut. I have not to give in return but a warm word and a prayer of thanks. Vissy. I'll take that. Uh, good folk, if you see any wonders hanging on the woods, such as treats fit for yule time, dangling off branches, ginger bakings, honeyed apples, fritters or pies, then no matter how fierce your belly growls, turn back. Whoever partakes of those treats is never seen among the living again. Okay, in lonely woods, scream carry long. Shadows creep far in the deep dark dale. Beware ye of the grove's wild song, or in the wild will end your tale. Okay. Good people, take pity and hear my plea. My wife Hannah, she's missing. A few days ago, she went into the woods and hasn't yet returned. I'm near out my out of my wits with worry and will pay any price to the man who brings her back to me, or at least tells me where to look for her. Neelan, hunter from Backbow. Okay, we'll take that. Okay. And we should have some map markers. Yes. Whoa, we have a lot of map markers actually. Never mind. We've got another notice board. And another! Oh my days. Oh, and another. <laughs> and we've got these little boats. Okay, a boat. Okay. We can ride boats. Oh my days. Oh wow, this game is huge. Oh, and another! Oh, and another. Oh my. Oh no. 
the loads the loads okay let's not get distracted um i'm gonna go here right away um and, uh, and we'll do that oh missing wife read oh no i've i've, I've uh wild at heart track quest no no don't track quest i'm, I'm tracking the quest i'm on uh, talk to the hunter named Neil. Oh, no, 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 no. Gwent, playing in keeps. Okay, no, 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 no. We need to focus because if I don't focus, I will never do anything properly. <laughs> right, let us, um, let us go towards our quest marker here and see where we're at. At least we should start that off and then maybe we can do a little bit of um, exploration. This is certainly quite Step an upgrade away. from. Uh, oh. Chaplain's praying. Can you see? Do not Ooh. cast him out, Roderick. All may draw from the well of the eternal fire's grace. Oh. Approach, Witcher. Oh, hello, eternal fire priest. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll take something. Fine, I'll do it. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more... The hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Ooh. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. <laughs> Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Okay, cool. Funeral funeral pyres. Um, where are we? What, what level is that? Uh, funeral. Oh, we can absolutely do that. Let's do that. I said I would do the main quest, but I'm totally getting distracted. Hang on. Um, <laughs> let's look at our world map here. Where is it? Oh, it's on the way. Okay, we can do that. <coughs> Excuse me. We can absolutely do that on the way. We may as well. Okay, let me also... I don't, I don't know if Quen lasts forever. We'll do it if we're fighting. This is... What is this herb? What is this herb? Fool's parsley. Yes, we've we've picked that up before. More fool's parsley here. Okay, we've got some some enemies here. Some more wild dogs. Let's do a let's do a quen. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Did I quen up or no? I did not. Ooh, that wild dog. The wild dog. Okay, okay. Eat the dumpling. Eat the dumpling. Oh, we should not eat our chicken sandwiches. Hang on. Let's see how many chicken sandwiches we can see. I don't think that many. We have a ton of honeycomb. Um, unequip that. And let's put in some bread. We'll put in bread. There. We'll eat some bread as well. Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot to loot. My bad. Pick this up here. Dog tallow. Raw meat. Raw meat is good. Okay, a herb here. What's the herb? Genatia petals. Take that. We've got lots of loot here. Yeah, sure stinks like a mass grave. Yeah, rot fiend. Oh my wells. days. Woohoo! Well. Okay. <laughs> Oh my days, okay, okay, kinda scary, kinda scary. <gasps> the doggo, the doggo. Oh, the rot fiend is doing something. Oh, it, it blew up, it blew up. Oh my days, it died. Okay, doggo, doggo. Okay, 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 eat the bread, eat the bread. Any loot? Dog tallow, we'll take that. The rot fiend just blew up. Monster heart and rot fiend blood, we'll take that. We have a, a moly arrow, we'll take that. Loot the dog, loot the dog. 
Okay, so we gotta light up this pyre, do we? Use, yeah. Now for a shot of Igni. A shot of Igni indeed, okay. Let's go for this here. Let's not stand too close to that. Uh, sort of aim, I guess. Okay, 8 XP, lovely. And let's go back to Quen here. Okay, doggo, doggo, doggo. Show me what you got. Oh, I did not see the attack coming. Okay, that's fine. He had loot. Dog tallow. Eat the uh, raw meat. The chicken sandwiches keep coming up. Okay, and that is. Uh, I think that was the quest actually. Not too bad. Now we will go to... Oh, he's all the way over here. Uh, I guess we can go there and turn it in. Oh no, it's... Oh, it's three. Okay, we gotta do three funeral fires. Never mind. It's not really on the way, but... Beggar tick blossoms. We'll take that. Take this. Ooh, the sun is setting. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Also, okay, hang on. We should check our bestiary, actually. They've got some new things, I think. I don't think I read the dog's entry. They say a dog's a man's best friend, but in these foul times, one best be wary, even of his friends. Alfred Pankrat, beggar from Novigrad. Some claim dogs are a reflection of their masters. A well-treated pet repays his owner with loyalty and trust, whereas an ill-treated one repays this treatment in kind as well, meeting yells with barks and kicks with bites. Me since there is an abundance of bad men, so too is there an is. Oh my days, I can't read, sorry. So too is there an abundance of bad dogs. Most dangerous of all are vagrant mutts, who have lost all respect for men and developed a taste for blood and carrion. Oh no. Oh bless. Um, a rot fiends. There we go. Vulnerable against necrophage oil, unsurprisingly. Uh, rot fiends. Cause it reeks. Think they're called rot fiends because they smell like roses. Vesemir, which of the wolf school. Rot fiends resemble decomposing human bodies that have been stripped of their skin. Their presence is given away by the overwhelming stench of the rot which gives them their name. Devourers are particularly dangerous kind of rot fiends marked by an insatiable appetite for human flesh. Okay, so that is, uh, that is not very pleasant. Good thing smell vision doesn't exist. Because otherwise we'd have to... Our Witcher senses, I imagine, we'd be able to sniff them out a mile away. And, uh, rotting flesh. I've, I've not actually. It's not rotting flesh myself. I imagine it's not a very pleasant scent. Oh, a bear! Okay, hello. my days. Okay, calm down bear. I'm sorry. I know you were just taking a nap actually. Oh, that was an attack? Okay. Just stay behind the bum. That is the way to go. Just, just stay behind the bump. <gasps> okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Am I not quenched up? I'm not quenched up. Wow! Okay, okay, okay. Eat the meat, eat the meat, eat the meat. I might die here, I might die here, I might die here. Please don't die here, please don't die here. Oh my days. Okay, why did I lose the red of it all? Okay. Oh my days. Okay, raw meat, raw meat. <laughs> oh, we got more raw meat. Okay, that's good. Um, let's see here. I did not expect to run into a bear. I thought they would be in like near caves or some sort, but I suppose they could be out in the open. Oh my days! Okay, hello. A Velen Longsword, Split Bolt, and His Majesty Amir Var Emrys. I think I've read that already. 
Have we read that already? Yeah, we have. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's eat some. Let's eat some more meat. Then we have to kind of undo this uh, pyre here. Pick up this herb. Where's the pyre? Where is the funeral pyre? Oh, we've got we've got a lot of. Uh, oh, okay, doggos, doggos. Can we loot this? No, we can't. Uh, oh, okay, we got ghoulies. We got ghoulies. I think we're supposed to use the other sword here. Silver sword, yeah. Okay, we got ghoulies. We got ghoulies. Yeah, sure stinks like a mass grave. Yeah. Okay, now for the holy oils. They burn well. Oh, is that Ghoulie a higher level Ghoulie? Yeah, it is. Just making sure my Quen is up here. Ooh. Okay, come on Ghoulie, come on. Oh, they're regenerating. That's not good. Oh my days! Okay, we decapitated them. Where's this other ghoulie? Oh, there are more, there are more, there are more than one. Okay, ghoulie, okay, ghoulie. Something is vibrate. Something is causing my controller to vibrate. What is it? Oh. I think it's this? Oh, no, it's not. That was just the loot. I don't know what was, uh... I don't know what was doing it then. Okay, let's pick this up. Uh, there's one more ghoulie there, I think. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my days. Okay, I didn't mean to get hit there, but that's okay. Let's light this up. Now for a shot of Igni. Yep, let's Igni. Igni this bad boy up. Okay, 8 XP. You love to see it. Get all this, and then the last one. Let's see where it's at. Oh, it's kind of far away. <laughs> That's fine, we can, uh, we can absolutely go through that quickly and eat some food whilst we're running. Uh, oh boy, we need to, I think I need to like start really getting into the, oh look at the birds in the sky, look at this sky by the way, look at this fucking view, like absolutely gorgeous, look at the birds, oh look at the moon, oh my days, okay look at everything, <laughs> okay so we are going to go there, I think I need to really get into the uh, the crafting aspect of the, uh, the game, because I think potions are going to be mighty handy here, what's this moly arrow, okay. I'm trying to learn all the names of the herbs, but I don't. I think that's going to prove a, a futile effort on my part, anyway. So I'm really terrible with names. Uh, right. Oh, that is a. That's a graveyard. Is that a monster? Old woman. Oh, it's not a monster. <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry, old woman. <laughs> oh my, they're very sad, old women. Uh, my bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call that old woman a monster. I thought it was like a wraith or something, you know? Right, let's see. Oh boy, that is a, that's a grim sight, really. Truly. Uh, let's go to the last pyre, and then we can turn it in if we are close to, uh, close to the turn-in points. I think we'd have to go pretty far away to turn it in as well, but we should be fine. Oh, no monsters around here. Pretty nice and calm. Really nice and calm, actually. I'll slay you like a dog. Oh my days. Okay. Oh, help you. Yeah, I'll help you. Shit. One's oh my still days. Alive. Oh my days. That is the wrong. Oh, someone's still alive. Oh my days. Okay, okay, okay. Come then, come then, come then. You wanna fight? Oh, is there friendly fire? Is there friendly fire? I hope not. 
Okay, come on, let's lock onto the ghoulie. Why do you come from behind? Okay, maybe we don't lock on, maybe we don't lock on. Why can't I run? We gotta save the guy! Why can't I run? Run, run, run! Okay, 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 okay. Run, Geralt, run. Okay, Quen, Quen, Quen. Okay, okay, okay. He's, he's doing... Maybe he's not using the right sword. Okay, hello, sir. Hi, what's his name? What are you playing at? My best... Oh. If it oh. ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. Oh. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual. Just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. Huh. Okay. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire or nonsense? I am going to question it. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, everything perfect, but the fourth is man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Oh. Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods, it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, Witcher. Oh. Okay. Cheeky behavior from the priest. Let me speak to you again. Say ya. Say ya. Okay. Cool. What's a, what was him with the bestie line before, though? <laughs> a monster eye. That's new. Okay, do we, do we burn this? I guess we still do. May as well. I guess we can no, call. A shot of Igni. I guess we can call out the uh, the priest later on when we turn the quest in. Maybe. Almost burnt the dude there. I'm so sorry, man. Good thing we didn't. I don't think he would have appreciated that. Okay, quest updated. Funeral pyres. We've done all three. Um, yeah, it's a little bit far north. So let us go back to our main quest first, since we are sort of around the area uh no that is secondary quest i want the main quest uh main quest would be oops sorry not that um would be here and there was another quest available on the way so i'm gonna actually mark that first and then we'll, we'll go there nice to have met you dude sorry that you got screwed over by that priest Maybe we'll question him and he'll give us more money in return. I need to get more food, man. I need to get... Um, how do I switch this again? Hold to switch potions. Hold. Ah, okay. I was tapping and that's why I drank the potion that I had before. Okay. So let's... I want to go to Kemorin. Why is it so high level to go to Kemorin? I guess it must be much later on in the, in the campaign. Alright, let's go towards this quest. I don't know what this quest is. And then maybe we should actually write Roach after all, huh? Uh, Roach, where you at? Hello, boy. Come here. Move it. Okay. Let's go. Why is he always so, like, rough with Roach? In terms of, like, dialogue as well. I wonder if there's something to it. Is okay, that another pyre that we did? Oh, we can cruise control on the road. We'll probably pass by that quest marker if we do. Maybe. Maybe not. Nope, nope. Okay. Help you. Yeah, we'll help you. Oh, drowners. Okay, okay, okay. Oop. Uh, okay. Calm down, drowner. <laughs> the Drowner's death animations are the best. Ooh, my days. Okay, don't, don't, don't hit me, sir, please. 
Oh, all right. Okay. Hello, John. John. Hello, John. Unbind me before the next ones come. Oh. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. Yeah. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it to bits. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees, fucking bursting with patriotism they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Oh. Okay, I'll untie you. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I've not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Okay. I wonder if that has any like. Oh well, we got we got XP for it. I'll tell you that. Uh, we are level four. Brilliant. Okay, let's look at our character uh, menu and see. Oh, we've unlocked a new perk, so I can have things. Okay, let me. Uh, we have vitality fifty. Uh, we should probably find a mutagen that actually fits our needs like this for example we got exploding shield what does this mutagen give us to the blue one uh let's go here sign intensity five percent okay i'll take that i'll take that i use i use um i use quen so much so like, i use quen all the time 10 percent sign intensity absolutely brilliant okay so now we have three points to spend this will be a level six um I've not been using my crossbow. I should probably probably use that more. Um, time slowed by an additional 50% when aiming the crossbow. How do I aim the crossbow? That's the thing. Adrenaline point loss upon taking damage is lowered by 33%. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, what do I do for now, though? This is... Let's see if there's anything else we can have that will help us in. I suppose we can go for uh, upgrades on this. I'll, I'll do that. Except, uh, oh, do that. Improve that to the max. There we go. Easy peasy. Done. Bye bye, Mr. John. Good luck. Come on, Roach. Let's, uh, oh, there was a, there's a notice there. Sorry, I didn't read it. Let's read it. What is this? Caution! A large contingent of traitors has deserted the Imperial Army camp. Their betrayal has made them outlaws and common bandits. Until the deserters are caught and punished, it is prudent to avoid any and all contact with them. Okay, cool. Um, let's go to the map and mark this area. And then we can uh, get on Roach here. Get here! Oh, cruise control. Okay, so we gotta cross this river. Ooh, there's some drowners here though. Let's uh let's test out our new Quen bits here. Hello, drowner. Loads of drowners. Oh my days, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Did it hurt them? Oh, I think it did. I think it did. I think it did. Okay. Oh no, Roach! Be careful, Roach! Whoa! Okay, there's a lot of drowners. There are a lot of drowners. Okay, you're dead. Oh <laughs> Bye bye, drowner. Did I loot the previous drowners, actually? Okay, run. Oh, I think I couldn't run before because I was out of stamina. I'm silly. Oh, Jeff. Clean up. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. The drawn and death animation is so uh, good. Stench. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's see what we've got to loot here. Um, nothing. Oh, we do have dried fish. Okay. Where's the loot, though? 
drown a tongue. Flowers. What stench was Geralt commenting on? Oh, it's the uh, it's the corpses. A drown a brain. Okay, 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 okay. Drown is done and dusted. I take it not too bad of a fight actually. Let's now continue on. Oh, there's another body there, but I don't know if there's loot in it actually. Let's check. That's a safe and sorry. Florence, we'll take it. Money, sorry. We don't need it anymore. Wolfsbane. Uh, Sel Selendin? Selendine? Okay. Sorry, we keep going on and off Roach because we can't pick things up on Roach. Okay, cruise control. There's some kind of monster there. I think there's a wild dog. We'll leave it be. I'm gonna go down this path here. All the hangmen, man. Fucking hell. This seems like a bit of a grim town. Seems like they can get swarmed by drowners at any point in time. Which is unfortunate, but I'm sure they know how to handle themselves. Velen in at the crossroads. Go, okay. go. He's got a tower. Hello, Piggy! Hello, Piggy! Hi! So I'll slaughter her myself. Hide her corpse neath the floorboards. Those bastards won't have her. Oh my days. They are arguing about something fiery there. Okay, help us to send him off. To whomever has eyes to read. The other day, our fellow boy died. We've no means to bury him properly. Not a white shirt in the house, nor cloth for a shroud, nor planks for a coffin. If there's aught you can spare, help, please. If we don't send him off to the next world proper like, he'll haunt us all in revenge. Nessie, we'll take that. Uh, from the innkeep, you buy your drinks at the inn at the crossroads with Novigrad crowns. We take no other coin, we don't do tabs either, nor exchanges save for eat or drink. If anyone doesn't like that, they can go rut for acorns. Okay. Warning, watch what you say, the trees have ears. Ooh, a kind stranger, oh my days, okay. Uh, okay, I can't read that, sorry. Um, missing Mikkel. My true born brother Mikkel is missing. Anyone who finds him or at least finds out what fate has met him will be generously rewarded and I'll slip a good word to the Baron about you as well. You'll find me at the inn at the crossroads. Bruno, take that contract. Didn't mean to jump there. I'm gonna go in here. So we have the innkeep. Who else have we got here? And we've got our storage as well so we could, we could also, we could also um, sell off some of our items, I think. Hello, Bruno. I saw your contract. Let's uh, let's speak to him first, actually. A witcher, and not a second too soon. Okay, hear about the contract. Understand you have a contract for me. Oi, it's my brother Mikkel. Been a week now since he took the women of Bellows into the hills. The uh, women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village till the war passed through. Huts were burned down, larders cleared out, all the menfolk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. No one wanted them. Redanians wouldn't let them into Novigrad, so Mikkel took them to the old mines. Get them out of the rain, at least. And I've not had word from him since. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, let's talk about the reward. Could look into it, if you paid me more. Oh, whoa, that's a lot of crowns, though. Let's go for 285. All right, my brother's life's at stake, so I can't skip. It's a deal. Oh, wow, okay, I'll look for your brother. All right, I'll look for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. He was the only lad in a group of women. <laughs> Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back. They got lost, is all. But... If worse comes to worst, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of master clogs. Told him not to wear them into the hills, he'd only ruin them. But he was so proud of him. Think I know enough. Thanks. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, wow, maybe I should have gone a bit higher in negotiations. <laughs> it's fine, though. That's plenty of, uh, plenty of crown. Okay, let's speak to the innkeep here. Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. Uh, 
That's not a bottle. Uh oh. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Oh, why? Haven't finished my drink. Expecting visitors? Got company. Who is it? In Cape, Vodka. Oh. Who's this? Un? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? <laughs> Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Uh oh. Uh oh no. Uh care for a drink. <laughs> How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. We share around, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? Uh ooh, not your concern. Is it just me, or is that none of your fucking business? I must be hearing things. You ain't. He meant to insult. I'll have to kill him then. Oh my days, do we really? You horses! All together! Now! Blast him! Ay, ay, ay! No, don't do that to me, please! You fucking ass! Oh my days. Oh, we chopped them in half. We did. We offered to buy them a drink. Okay, we tried. Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village. He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it. An iron fist he's got. Where's Hendrik? You deaf? Understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand. Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Okay. What do you know about Hendrik? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Oh Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself and for us both. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to cause trouble. I just... Uh, you know, they. I, I offered to buy them a drink. They didn't need to know where I was going. None of their business. Girl talk. Heck yeah, we'll take that. Oh my days. Hello. Again. Sir. Why, why is it everyone wants to fight? Oh my days. Ooh, okay. Oh my days. Okay, I guess we'll go out the back then. Thank you. I'm gonna loot this first. Alright, we'll go out the back. Why are there so many bandits in this town? Okay. Bye-bye. Oh my days, there were loads. But doesn't it get a it's lot of loot, up. no? Shouldn't we actually kill all the bandits? And Roach is there! It's fine, Roach will come to me if I call him. But, that's <laughs> a... Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Roach? Roach? Come here, Roach. Loads of bandits in town, we can't go there. Although I wanted to trade with the innkeep. Maybe I should've. But I don't think he'll come want on, to Roach. trade with me. If I cause so much trouble in town. Let's eat the honeycomb. We've got so much of it. Okay, let's go to this... Take um, it easy. Let's go to this... Uh, where are we? Bloody hell, it's far away. 
The Nilfgaardian connection. Okay, uh, let me read my quest book actually. Geralt travelled to Velen in search of Ciri, an act that attested to the depth of his devotion. Only a man who has been to this land can know just how vile it is. Ah, okay, yes, because we're in no man's land, aren't we? Um, at this time, it was commonly yeah, it was commonly known as no man's land. Why? Well, the Emperor of Nilfgaard has not yet claimed it. Temeria was in disarray and the Redanians had already retreated north. No man had been left in charge and he had proved a terrible ruler. Oh! Is it someone called No Man? <laughs> it actually is. Geralt needed to find Hendrik, an Imperial agent who had been working on Ciri's case, and to collect him from what information he had managed to gather. Okay, so yeah, we are in No Man's Land, who I think might be a person called No Man. <laughs> and it's their land. Fair enough. I've got so much to explore after this as well. Let's just follow the track of this... Uh, quest first, as long as I don't get distracted along the way. Uh, where am I going here? I have to go uh, northwards. Northwards. Faster. That way. I think? I think I'm going the right way? I hope I'm going the right way. Should we cut across country? Will that be faster? No, it's actually going. It's actually just going to end up on the road. Alright, let's uh we'll do this. Just go straight for the marker and maybe not run into some trees, sorry. <laughs> I'm really bad with horseback riding in uh, in games. It was the same thing when I played um Elden Ring. Okay, I think this is our destination. What is this town here? There's a fire there. Yeah, you see, you feel, I feel like when I ride on horseback, I tend to miss out on a lot. I feel like I'm They're missing out strange, on a lot of things. They're strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. Oh, The mist. Oh, I feel like we may have some infestations here. Yes. Rabbit dog. Oh, my days. So, do you need help? Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. I'm trapped in the net, I'm trapped in the net. Oh, 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 don't do that. Okay, doggo, doggo, doggo. Okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Man, these doggos are no joke, man. Okay, we're good. Oh, did we clear? Oh, leave me be, whoever you is. Get away. Oh no. Calm down. It's over. Oh. Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Oh no. Uh, tell me what happened. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see? And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The toads, I cannot hear them. Is it the hunt? The wild hunt?
save terror through and through. Hendrik screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. Here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. <laughs> oh no, poor guy. Okay, well, we gotta find where a Hendrik ended up the hunt. The wild hunt don't mess around. They really want to get their hands on the uh, on Siri. Hopefully, we'll be able to get to her first. Let's uh, move to this. Okay, let's search in this uh, hut then. Is that Hendrik? Oh no! Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Uh, okay, should search his trousers, might be something in his jerkins, or did he hide something in his boots? Let's go for the boots, I know it's not the brother quest, but the boots are now in my brain, I got boot brain. Should check his boots. Blood, congealed, key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole, somewhere nearby hopefully. Okay, was that it? Yeah, that was. Alright, nice, easy first try. Platter. I could probably sell that. Ooh, examine the rug. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Okay. Unlocked. Open. And use. What is, what is with the jars in the cages? I wonder. Ooh, a wanted sign. M oh, no, missing sign. Uh, Tamara Strenger, daughter of the Bloody Baron, presumed kidnapped, hard to reward for whoever finds or bring her in. brings her in. Okay. Uh, let's loot this file. Examine. Oh. Hmm, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Secret tunnels and whatnot. Anything here? Nothing except that. Well, let's loot this then. <gasps> Crowns! I'll take all of that. Is that it? Search the agent's hut using your witcher senses. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Is there? Do we take this uh, sign? I have searched though. Maybe we need to go up again. What other things? What other things is there? Maybe outside the hut? Perhaps? Nope. Wow, the frost. They really do bring the frost with them. Okay, I must be I must have missed something then. Hang on, we'll use the leather. There's something there. Maybe I gotta pull that again? No? Doesn't seem to be anything else in here. Oh, there was something. There was something vibrating. Oh, was it this? Aha, okay. I missed that. 
ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Are we gonna get ambushed here? Interesting headings. Hmm, okay. Missing and wanted. Drunken swine. Clashed with a witch. Caution advised. Let's go with missing and wanted. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Mm, sounds like Siri. Uh, drunken swine. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talk to Baron at Crow's Perch. Okay. Clashed with a witch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Okay. And caution advised? Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Okay, I think that's all, yeah. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Damn indeed. Okay, well. Hopefully we'll be able to make... Make up the loss, make up for lost time, make up for distance. And Hendrix notes. Ooh, okay, okay, so this is all the all the bits we just read. Quest complete. Okay, Nilf Guardian connection. Oh, new quest, hunting a witch. Okay. And the other bits, I imagine. New quest, Bloody Baron. Yep. Oh my days, there are a million quests, and I'm here for it. Okay, let's look at our quest journal here. Okay, so we have in series footsteps. So we are in Velen now, so we can... We don't need to, I think, um, actually track that. I did not even look at the Pyres of Novigrad um, questline. Visit Triss in her house. Okay, uh, that's level 10. Let's go with the level 5 one, I guess. Um, hunting a witch. Find the witch on your own. Or ask the residents of Midcops about her. The notes left by Hendrik, the Nilfgaardian agent, mentioned that Ciri had quarrelled with some witch and that the Newt's steward in question could be found near the village of Midcops. Exactly where, Geralt did not know and so he was forced to swallow his manly pride and ask the locals for direction. Oh, I don't know about that. There's nothing, nothing wrong with asking for directions, is there? <laughs> Uh, right, where are we? Okay, so that's here, hunting a witch. We do have some point of interest here, so I am going to, I am going to explore that. Right, well, let us, hang on, can I not jump over this? Can I not jump over this fence? Oh wow, okay, well, who would win, a witch or a fence? A fence, apparently. Right, let's, uh, let's head over to this point of interest here. And then we are going to, um, then we will go ask about this witch and swallow our manly pride, apparently. Uh, these words in this area, where are we, Velen, is, uh, they are a lot more quiet than the, uh, than the woods in, never mind, okay, I take it back, I take it back, something is out there. What is out here? Uh, uh, oh, oh, a drowner. I take it all back. I take it all back. Okay. Why are they out in the woods? There's no, there's no water here. There's one behind me. Okay, we need to igni, I think. I think we need to egg me. Okay. 
Okay, okay. We didn't get the funny animation for those ones, but that's okay, we beheaded them. Okay, and then we have this one here. Where's the loot? Oh, where's the loot? Isn't it right here? Hello? But where's the loot? I'm just gonna spam X. Okay. I don't know why I picked up, but uh, something. Yeah, why are they out here? I mean, there's a stream here, I suppose. But still? Ooh. Oh no, someone perished there. Maybe the drowners got them. But yes, before the attack, I was gonna say... I mean, look at this. It's so nice and pleasant and quiet before that drowner attack. I was gonna say that it's uh, a lot more calmer than uh, White Orchard. Oh no, what is here? Oh, a right deserter. Oh my days. Oh, and we have an archer. Of course we do. Of course we have an archer. We'll flail your skin off. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I need to uh, have my Axie on, I think. Where is uh, Axie here? Oh, okay, he went down. He went down. Oh, my days. Oh, no, my my Quen, my Quen, my Quen, my Quen is not on, and the archer is so annoying. Okay, eat the honeycomb, eat the honeycomb. Quen, 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 Quen. I don't like the lock on that much. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna move away. Did we eat the honeycomb? Did we eat the honeycomb? I need to, I need to get rid of the, uh, the archer here. Where's the archer? Where did he go? The honeycomb. Oh, okay. That 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 person went down. Oh, the archer is behind me. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Eat the honeycomb. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. The the freaking archer, dude. Okay. Oh my days, sir. You'll never learn. Okay, okay. Honeycomb, honeycomb. I need, I need, um, I need Quen. And then I need Axie. I am conjuring, I am conjuring. The archer is so annoying. Oh my days. Okay, I need, I need Quen, I need Quen. I have no stamina. Oh my days, the archer! Okay, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, Quen. And, uh, Axie. He's just standing there, though. Oh, this I like! This you like? Okay. Oh, my days! Okay. Okay, we're good. Did I eat all my honeycomb? Oh no, I think I may have uh, swapped it by accident. Okay. Okay, deserters. That was, uh, that was exciting. Ham sandwich. <gasps> There's, there are so many sandwiches in this game. Alkahest. Okay, that's good. And then let's loot. Yeah. Hang on. It's just my controller just vibrates like crazy at some point and then I still can't pick it up. Hang on. Where is it? Where's the loot? Oh, there we go. And there should be A one storm. more. storm. Damn it. A storm. Is that bad? I'm guessing it is. Okay, what's in this, uh, what's in this bandit camp then? Ooh, coal, alcohol, some diagram. We'll take it, we'll take it. I think this is the point of interest, isn't it? The hut. Let's see what we've got here. What are we working with? Ooh, water, black pepper, and more honeycomb. We'll take that. Water. Hardened leather. Okay, not bad, not bad. I think we've looted everything. Alright, cool. Let us... Um, now we can go to our waypoint, I think. To the quest. Ooh, there's one on the way here, though. <laughs> oh, and there's a town here. We're a notice board. 
Do I want that? Maybe I can. Maybe I should because then I can get a waypoint. Maybe like a signpost to uh, teleport to. We'll do this um, point of interest first. Maybe it's a, a place of power as well. You can get an ability point from it. So that would be good. I think. Hang on. Let me check something. Okay, not bad. I was gonna. I was wondering how much the XP bonus from our trophy was kicking in. Um. We should also get some saddle packs so that I can and sell our items so that I can um, unequip the... Uh, oh, something's happening here. Okay, hello. Hello, that's a that's a big ghoul. Is that a big ghoul? It is a big ghoul. Yeah, level 9 ghoul. Fucking hell. How do you like that silver? Okay, he's running away. That's fine. There's something in the back. The barrel. Oh my days, okay. Maybe I should use some uh, spells here. Yerdan, maybe? And Quen up here. Are the ghouls coming? Are they coming? Should I blow up the barrels, maybe? <laughs> Level 9, oh my days. Yeah, come here, ghoulie. Oh, he's stuck in the tree. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, I am missing. I am woofing. Oh, yep, that's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back, Goody. Come back, Goody. Stop running around like that, please. No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Maybe I should blow up the barrel. I need to get rid of the ones with low health, otherwise they're gonna heal up. Okay, okay. Wow, they can leap like insanely far. I think my coin is down. Okay, come here, Ghoulie. Leap at me. Don't run away. Ghoulie, come back. Oh, that barrel's gonna blow. That barrel's gonna blow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did it get rid of the third Ghoulie? I think it did. Okay, 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 okay. I couldn't get away in time. That, that explosion, like, the range is huge. Ashes, we'll take that. Oh, it's a Ghoul monster nest. nest. Wanna just destroy it? Where is the nest here? Destroy this. Because we have the Samoom. Okay, now we've got loot. Goodies. Uh, where's the loot though? Aha! Monster saliva. Ghoul blood. And then... Should be... Loot here. There we go. Monster tooth. Alright, nice. And then... Let's have a look at our map here. Do I want to go here? I think I kind of do. Yeah, let's do that. Away from the quest marker. I say that I'm not going to get distracted, but I... That's not something... That's not a statement you can trust. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just there are too many things. Oh my days. Okay, so it's up on a hill. I have to find a way in. Oh, the bridge is broken. Can I jump across it, you think? Maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll try. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, bloody Baron. Oh no. Oh, oh. Oh, they don't they don't like us, do they? They don't like us, do they? Do we have a signpost nearby here? That we can port to later? Got lots of quests here. You know what? May as well. Let's 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 go inside. Maybe the maybe there's a signpost inside everyone's running away from us maybe i should sheath my weapon uh hello peasant he doesn't seem bothered by us he doesn't seem to care um how do i get up there okay there are so many hoses here 
I imagine I can go into the houses and explore. Oh, it's locked. Okay, I guess not. I guess we, we won't. Ooh, let's read this. Tamara. Yeah, we've read that already. What about this one? Missing Anna Stranger, wife of the Bloody Baron. Presumed kidnapped. Hearty reward for whoever yeah, finds her or brings her in. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Baron's henchman. Maybe this is not a town that I want to uh, be in, actually. Yeah, I'm waiting for my Axie to come on. Hang on, sir. Oh my days, that was a one shot. <gasps> It was more than a one shot. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna. I'm also gonna swap out and put some water in my inventory here and take away this. Uh, this bit. Where, where's my water? Put that there. Um. Yep. I think we're good. I'm gonna swap to water here. Drink some. Um. Okay. This dude just came at me. I'll take that. A goose. How do I get up? How do I get to where the notice board is? This is a very complicated town. I suppose this is the outer ring. How do I get into the lower ring? Hang on, let me look at my map here. Oh, that is not the... Okay, I gotta go through something and get up there. Okay. I'm pointing in the right direction though. So we're gonna keep running this way, I think. Ah, there's a gate. Okay, I see the gate. Aha, okay. Uh, 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 okay, a crossbowman. I don't like crossbowmen. <laughs> oh my days. Yeah, you shouldn't have shot me, dude. Okay. Can we can we get through this gate? <gasps> we absolutely can. Okay. Yeah, nobody likes us here. I'm just trying to get to the notice board. This is not the quest that I'm actually intending to do. Is there a signpost? No, that isn't. Notice board. Oh, oops. Whoop. Baron home. Not your concern. Need to talk to him. Open the gate. Not a chance. We heard what happened at the crossroads. We'll not let a man like that in here. Oh no. Okay, I Won't suppose. Won't get in that way. Gotta find another. I suppose... look among the villagers. Might find one brave enough to help me. Okay, I suppose those were the consequences of our actions. <laughs> of what we did at the inn. But I didn't want to tell them where I was going. I didn't think it was any of their business. Anyway, it's fine. We're gonna How go. About that? Takes a tired old man not to panic and run when I appear. Yeah, well we did notice him before. Um, I don't know if I want to do this quest yet. Can I exit through here? Um, let's let's read what it is about, actually. Uh, Nilfgaard's agent had determined Syria had stayed with the Baron, the self-proclaimed ruler of Velen. This man was known for his violent temper and three-mile-long cruel streak, hence his moniker, the Bloody Baron. Geralt, however, was not one to be frightened by nicknames, least of all those taken from bodily fluids, and so made his way to Crow's Perch, the Baron's seat, to ask about Cyrilla. The guards at the castle gate were clearly not happy to see Geralt. They denied him entry, growling a few threats as they sent him on his way. However, the Witcher had to talk to the Bloody Baron, so he set out to find another way into Crow's Perch. Okay, fine, we'll track, we'll track this, we'll, we'll do this now then. Uh, right, hello, uh, old man. Greetings. Greetings to you. Other villagers all scurried off soon as they saw me. You didn't. Oh, I, I'm too old to scurry. Besides, what could you do to me? Kill me? Go ahead. I've not long to live. Tan me oid? Wouldn't work. His skin's right brittle. <laughs> I like this guy. Uh, know the area well. Lived here long. Hmm. Since I was born. Reckon that'll be more than 70 winters. Must know the area well. Not bad. Listen, I gotta get inside the fortress. Can I do that without going through the front gate? Ye can, but few know the way. If you were to make an humble offering, call it to this humble man, maybe I could point you in the right direction. Oh, a man after my own heart, asking for crowns. All right, I'll pay. Not about to let you cheat me. Why help me? I'm going to ask why he wants to help me. 
Just looking to make some coin, or is there another reason you're helping me? What you did at the crossroads, that's why they won't let you in, right? The innkeep? My sister's husband. Oh. Oh. Um, okay, you know what? We'll pay him. We'll pay him. Fine. Don't really feel like arguing with the guards. Years back, when the old lord still ruled Crow's Perch, the blacksmith's boy went missing. Old village looked for him. No luck. Finally found the boy in the river. He drowned. Oh, no. Tragic. But how's that supposed to help me? A few days on, an old woman who served the lord found the boy's cap near the castle well. So, either he lost it there or he fell in the well. Clever man. Village folk built a shrine where they found the lad's body, northwest of here. Wait till you find an entrance to a passage nearby. Shrine? Where is it exactly? Track that weaves through the village. Follow it to the bridge. Turn right past that. Then go on, straight as piss, till you get to a crossroads. Turn right again. Then follow that path up a hill. Shrine stands upon it. Right past the bridge, then right again. I'll find it. Thanks. All right. Thank you, old man. Let's, uh, I'm going to take away that quest, uh, not quest, sorry, that marker that I've put down. <gasps> there's a, there's a smithy in there. Okay, we're going to go to our quest marker here. There go. Oh, it's the gate, like he said. Bye, piggies. And then we're going to go into a well, I think. Ah, okay, we do have a signpost here to quick travel. I'm going the wrong way. Whoops. I probably should have come in this way instead of jumping across the broken bridge. I suppose that was the right way to come in. Uh, right, let us go. Oh no, we do have to go out that way. Or not, hang on. I'm confused. I've lost my footing. Have I lost my footing? I haven't, oh, kind of, ish. No, we're fine. Let's jump across the bridge again. Action, Hank! Let's go. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go. I think we'll go along the uh, the bank. Uh, can we get up there? Oh, I think it. I think we can. Okay. This goes uphill. Does it go uphill? We cannot do that now. Okay. No, we can. I was trying to jump in the in the water. And the game didn't like that, did it? Is the boy who drowned? No, they they buried him, didn't they? I was gonna say, the there aren't drowners. Oh, seems I'm in for a swim. Oh, we are in for a swim. Okay. Uh, dive. Let's dive. Okay. I'm guessing it's this way. Okay. Wow, this is a very very dark cave. Um. A little bit creepy, not gonna lie. The music has also changed. Let's see here. Don't we have like sea and darkness uh, potions? I think we do. Uh, like dark vision potion. Mm, it's a water hag. Okay. Okay. Oh my days. Oh my days. Okay, that's not that's not fun. That's not fun, lady. I have no stamina for Quen here. Oh my days. Okay, okay, okay. No, we're good. Don't throw shit at me, please. Wow, she's very good at dodging and this is very, very dark. Oh my days. Okay, she doesn't do too much damage. Okay. No, we're good. Oh, this is actually not a lot during combat. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh my days. Okay, drink the water. Drink the water. Quen, 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 quen. Oh, don't slap me. Oh, my days. Okay, 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 okay. Water hags. Oh, my days. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that was a little bit scary. Uh, water hags. Let's read about them. Um, where are they? They are necrophage. Oh, my days. Look at them. Okay, folks say that water hags are drowners' wives. If that be true, take no wonder why they are such ornery bitches. <laughs> Shemhel of Dregston. 
Uh, some tales mention water hags and swamp bints masquerading as lost old women to lure travellers back to the rickety shacks they build in the wetlands. In truth, only a blind man or a sighted man blinded with drink could mistake the rank sludge and rotting carrion of a water hag's den for a cosy cottage and the hideous hag herself for an innocent grandmother. Their wrinkled, wart-covered bodies stand nearly two yards tall, with skin the colour of a long-dead ca- long cadaver and stinking of muck and fish. Bony growths, two long spans long two spans long stick out from their backs, with hair like a tangle of seaweed and claws that would make a werewolf proud, completing the picture. Okay, vulnerable against bombs, necrophage oil, quen, okay, and igni. Okay. Okay. Um right. Bye bye. Hag. Oh, there's loot. Hang on. Water essence venom extract. Water hag tooth. Okay. Um, I have lost my footing once more. Let's see if we can climb up here. I should probably brew a potion to see in the dark. Maybe if I use my witcher senses. Nothing, really. Okay, it's a cave. Ah, <gasps> iron ingot. Not silver ingot though, I need the silver ingot. A rabbit pelt. Okay, not bad. Which just senses loads of um, mushrooms that I'm not picking up. Light. That uh-huh. must be close. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go up the ladder. New marker. The entrance to the well. I don't know if there are loads of enemies here waiting for us. Oh, this is nice. A garden. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I did not want to do that. Um, let me... Oh, oh, never mind. Infosema, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three, one, two, three, ha <laughs> ha! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Oh. The Baron, I'm assuming. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. Man like him could prove useful. Okay. I'm no thug for hire. Well... Useful for what? Let's ask that. Useful? How? That's the spirit. We'll work well together. I can see that already. This way. One thing. You do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. Okay. Nice garden though. Really nice garden. Make yourself at home. Now where'd I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. Hmm. Okay. I'm glad to have a drink or oh, no thanks. Ooh, I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll have a drink. I didn't think he was offering this one. I think he was, I thought he was just going to help himself. Uh, glad to have a drink. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltest dead and Metalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the bloody Baron. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Um... <laughs> it's awful. Lovely place. Get to the point. Um... <laughs> I don't know which one. Yeah, I kind of like both of these two. 
Can we be cheeky and say lovely place? I think you might not appreciate that, but we're gonna do it anyway. Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, <laughs> marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here. It becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Some both. <laughs> Can you get to the point or is that a threat? Uh, I don't think he's threatening us. I think he's talking about his wife and his daughter. Um, I am going to ask, is that a threat? What's that supposed to mean? That a threat? Oi, not as clever as I suspected you'd be. Yeah. No, it's no threat. I'll spell it out for you. I know who you're looking for. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Ooh, a cinematic? Oh, oh, oh. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. <gasps> oh. Hello, Siri. When you play as Siri, you cannot access the inventory or use signs. Oh my days. <sighs> that was close. I must leave this place. Oh my days, we get to play as Siri. Oh, <laughs> she really, really got all grown up. Oh my days. Okay, uh, I'm going to pick up all the uh, herbs. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen to all these herbs I pick up. Oh my days. Oh, this is cool. This is a cool way of showing us what happened. The king of the wolves. She needs help. Oh my days. No signs. Okay. No signs. Why? Didn't we train as a witcher? Are we not a witcher yet? <gasps> we got some kind of magic thing. Oh my days. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, we can like teleport. Okay. Oh, okay. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Maybe we are. Okay, we're good. Oh my days. What? Oh. You can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Ooh. Yes, I'm lost too. No, I never am. Uh, yes, I'm lost too. Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. Okay. Uh, how is it you're here? Or where do you live? Uh, how is it you're here? How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my <gasps> fill. He said he would wait. Oh. So I started down the trail. But then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. Cheeky bugger. Why follow the trail of treats? Isn't that a thing we read on the notice board? That if you eat the treats in the woods, that you'll you'll be lost. Did the father try to get rid of his own child? That's terrible. Your father, why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had nap to break our fast with. Oh. I don't understand. I was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all our milk. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked. But father said it wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats. That would solve things. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, I think that is what's happening. Remember how to get home. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. Hmm, the Wolf King. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes, I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. Okay, don't be afraid, I'll protect you. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Okay, Siri story, the king of the wolves. Okay, so we really can't access anything. I've tried to press the menu and it's just the map here. Okay. Wolves! Oh, whoa, Quick, whoa, 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 hide. whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, doggos, calm down. So many of them. Oh my goodness! Oh, I am not doing so good. I'm sorry, Siri. Okay, 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 we're good. Loot all this. Okay, we have a bit of regen on this, thankfully. Quite a bit of regen, actually. Would have been nice. Would be nice to actually have that uh, on default. I think I might actually have some ability points I could spend to do that, to have that. Gretka, come, come. Oh, no, not yet. I think there's one more wolf there. Uh, okay. Oh, my days. No, don't do that, doggo. Okay, one more. Here we go. Loot? Can we loot? You can come out now. Am I your brave? My father can even do that. Yeah, your father's a fucking mm, coward. Mine can do That's a good. lot more. By something with immense claws. Okay. Uh, all right, where are we going, Gretka? Ooh. Look. There's something there. Oh my days. Oh no. Is that her father? Wait here. Don't come any closer. But No, no but stay here. I must see something. Uh okay, eyes first. Hmm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Okay, head. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Oh no. Immense pain before death. Okay, chest. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Uh, leg. Tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Yeah, look away. Get mm. off my face. What's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Okay. Um, belly. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? <laughs> this kid, oh my days, she's so unfazed. Okay, summing up. The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. Oh. What happened to him? He had a fall. 
Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when do children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No, a far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Oh. Uncle Vesemir. Oh, she mentions Vesemir. Okay, gather falls parsley. Right here is where my lack of knowledge is gonna shine. <laughs> okay, falls parsley. What does that look like? Marcus, there. Is there falls parsley right here? Is that it? No, that's not. That's not. Yeah, that's Wolfsbane. Okay. Fool's Parsley. It's like a taller plant, if I recall. Where is Fool's Parsley? Maybe we shouldn't Wolves. be doing this. Hide! Quickly! Okay, hide, yeah. Oh, don't do that. <gasps> I am not doing so good. I think that's full party right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it Okay, regen, regen. Yeah, we got regen. Okay, doggo. Leave the kid alone. Oh my days. Coming from behind. Cheeky behavior. Okay, last one, I think. Where are you going, doggo? Where are you going? Doggo! Okay. Alright, cool. This is... Uh... You can come out! No, you come up bad! Let me go. All right, I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire and brew the oil in peace. What are you doing? Greasing my blade. Effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are probably very effective, I would think. Uh, I should have looted all doggos before I left, although I don't think we get to keep all that. Mm. Belly's all in blood, clawed open. No wolves did this. Uh huh. Okay, let's go this way then. Oh, what was that? Oh. Gretka? Can we talk to her? No, we can't. Oh, I can still loot with the doggos. That's good. Do parents often send their children out to follow the sweets? Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat with the things. Oh, my days. That's so cursed, man. <laughs> Belly's all in blood. Clawed open. No wolves did this. I wonder what happens if you bring Gretka home. Okay, okay, okay. A little ravine here. Where are we headed to, really? This way, through the cave. You lead. Why are we letting Gretka lead? <laughs> Can't we actually, like, you know, witcher sense? I guess we're not it's witches. It's a bit yet. dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not either. Okay, Gretka. Uh oh. <laughs> what? The Wolf King. Now do you believe me? I do. Hide. The kid. 
I can't lock on. Okay, come here, King of Wolves. Okay, very effective oil. Okay, kill the werewolf. Yeah, we killed him. Boy, you really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. Come on. Uh, we found a corpse in the woods. Oh, we must get to the village. We found a corpse in the woods. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Farron, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren there. The little one. No details. The music is so creepy here. We must get to the village. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Oh, okay. A few hours later. Oh, okay, okay. Really hungry, these two are. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit a likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hounds on you. So, stew any good? Mm, very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You, in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I sh... Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. Okay, we back to Geralt. Yeah, I think we are. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Hmm, okay. Uh, talk of Gretka, where is she now? The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka? She siphons sound, helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. Mm. That's very nice what he did for Gretka. Okay, talk. I don't think he'll like this, but... No, a topic for now. Talk. That sharpness. Watch your tone, Witcher. Remember you owe me. Butchered some of my better men. We wish to come to an agreement, do we not? <laughs> <laughs> he sits back down. Okay, I get what you're after. Or tell me, it's important. Um, I think he wants us to find his wife and his daughter, right? I get what you're after. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Okay, um, how do I know I can trust you? 
I don't know. I I feel like he's all right. I don't mind this Baron dude. He seems, if well, if what he says is true about Gret guy, he seems like a decent guy. How do I know I can trust you? Thing is, can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. Mm hmm. Um. I don't know if this is like a ultimatum, not ultimatum, like a it's a one choice sort of thing. What if I refuse? I'm so curious. What if I refuse? What if I refuse? Because I just don't want to. Would you tell me to sod off? Go ahead, but then I'll tell you the same. And what will that make us? Two helpless, empty handed sods. Mm. Think of it as searching for your own daughter. Ought to go quickly then. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Ah, huh, okay. Uh, have you searched? You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Hmm, okay. Um, got any enemies? Notice anything, anything unusual recently? Your men ever bother them? Uh, let's say notice anything unusual recently. Anything unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well, devoured another last before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever, and Tamara, occupied with her things, nothing unusual. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we can ask these still. Your men ever bother them? This place. Must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horses. But they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. I was gonna say, I don't think you wanna mess with the parents, uh, wife and kid. Uh, got any enemies? Loads, I think. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any you might have? I've been eating dirt long since. Okay, I need more information. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. Okay, applying oils to your sword increases the damage it deals to a certain type of opponent. Open the inventory panel to apply When she oil. was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side you of the wall? The hair of the hound. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you see it there? Oh, oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. D damn it! Jammed again. Bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Okay. Try Thank not you. to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. All right. Fair enough. Okay, let's examine this. Wooden candlestick. Stem's broken. Uh huh. What else have we got here? Ooh, boarded up windows. Walls a different color. Oh, 
Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. What painting? Ooh, this painting. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Mm-hmm. A little bit sussy, a little bit sussy. Oh, I don't know if I want to steal that. He might not like that. I'm just here to investigate. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe there was just a squabble or something, you know. And he doesn't want to say because it makes him look sus. Who Got knows? Let's look into Mara's room first, actually. Okay, let's see here. Nothing of note yet. Just things to loot, I think. Do I want to loot this? Letter to Tamara. I do want to loot this. Let's see. We are more like a family. We support each other and help each other survive tough moments, grapple with the past. For each of us has a past, so you needn't worry about anyone digging into yours. We've got a rule. Never ask more than someone offers on their own. The past doesn't matter to us. Only the future does. And... That and our common fight against evil and depravity, against perverse and loathsome practices of all kinds. Sounds like the um, eternal fire people, eternal flame, missing Mikkel, my true bombarder. Okay, we've read that one already. Um, okay, so Tamara was having that letter. Little bit sus. Ooh, examine the doll. Hmm. Damn ugly for a doll. <laughs> the kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. Oh, what was Tamara up to? Cheeky cheeky. We also have our character log to actually re read. Mm. We'll do that later. First now let's examine the uh, the hole in the wall here. Is it on the other side? Uh, the wardrobe, okay. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm, fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Yeah. Oh, something here. A scratch mark. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Yeah. What else? What else? Ooh. Isn't that all blood? Huh. Rest of the oh. candlestick. Wine. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Tucson. Yeah. Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Mm hmm Aha. Okay, Could so it's use going some to hair go. Of the hound. Oh, it's going down. Got any vodka? Okay, this is cool. This scent thing. A loose Damn, floorboard. Trail breaks off. Could find something else though. A talisman. Mm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Did they fight? They were, were Tamara and the wife fighting each other? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Done poking around. Mm-hmm. Found a doll. Signs of a fight in the room. Somebody spilled wine on the landing. Know anything about this amulet? Uh, let's ask about the amulet first. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Hmm. Well, we do have a quest to go see the witch. Um, let's bring up all these other bits first. Somebody spilled wine on a landing. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lush is one and all. Give hmm? your men air loose. Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. 
Mm -hmm. uh, let's go for the doll first. Found the doll. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you balmy? <laughs> I made it for her. Oh no. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I, I made the doll with my own hands. Ah, resemblance is uncanny, as I remember. Triss looks different. Um, I like cheeky answer. I'm assuming this is a sarcastic answer. Resemblance is uncanny. So it is supposed to be Triss. Yeah, I see it now. Eerie. Looks just like her. Doesn't it? <laughs> Time's taken a bit of a towel, but overall it continues to impress. You got something to fall back on if things don't work out with Nilfgaard. Oh, okay. It was not a cheeky answer. Is Triss a creepy looking lady? I don't know what Triss looks like. I should read my character book. Signs of a fight in the room. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm off to see the Peller then. Ought to have a chat with this Peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Okay. Got any vodka? <laughs> okay, well. We need to go find this uh, Pella's hut. But before that, let me look at my glossary. Check the ca Oh my days, there are a lot of characters to catch up on. Cheris Marigold. She doesn't look creepy. I always consider it a point of particular pride to count Tris Marigold of Maribor among my closest and dearest friends. This exceptionally talented sorceress was a shining star of her profession, the former mage advisor to King Foltest, and a famous hero of the Battle of Sodden, known as the 14th of the Hill. Yet in no way did she resemble her often unbearably haughty sisters in magic. Her deft mind, warm smile, and considerable personal charm had always won over even the hardest of hearts. Though my personal relations with Triss never ventured beyond the fraternal, Geralt of Rivia at one point found her allure irresistible. From then on, the two shared feelings that ran far deeper than the superficial and fleeting fancy. Yennefer told Geralt that Triss had recently taken up residence in the free city of Novigrad. Okay, ooh, Cyrilla! <gasps> Look at the updated portrait! Okay, Cyrilla, uh, we've, 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 uh, we've read this, I think. Um... There we go. We stopped that Ciri's gift proved a curse as well. Because of it, she would one day have to hide from the entire world, even Geralt. Ciri's biography contained one more great secret. Her natural father was none other than the Emperor of Nilfgaard, Amir Var Emrys. His words confirmed the fear swirling in Geralt's mind. Ciri had returned and was in mortal danger, for the unrelenting wild hunt was on her trail. Yennefer made it clear why the, why the wild hunt wanted Ciri. Eredin wanted the power latent in her elder blood. She also let Geralt know that Ciri had been seen in war-ravaged Velen as well as in Novigrad, the largest city in the world. Reports that Ciri had spent time at Crow's Perch to prove through proved true. She was there as the guest of the local warlord, Philip Strenger, who was also known as the Bloody Baron. Despite his violent moniker, this man treated Ciri with kindness and respect. Yeah. Okay. Oh my days, we have quite a bit to... Um... Oh, they keep updating as well. They keep updating too. Okay. We'll, we'll take some time at one point to read all that. Um... I think for now. 
I hear the sergeant took a lashing from the Baron. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, with that harp tui, we're going to... Uh, I think we're going to call it here for uh, this session. And uh, that was indeed episode 3 of our first playthrough of The Witcher 3. Um, really, really, really good game. I'm enjoying it tremendously. Very easily for me, very easy for me to get sidetracked and whatnot in this game. Very dangerous, but uh, I suppose that's part of it. I suppose that's part of it. So, uh, as much as I wish I could keep going, because I can keep going with this game with all the... Uh, if I pull open the map and I find a point of interest, I'm going to just beeline towards it. So we're going to call it here for now. Uh, so in the next session, we will be going to see the Pella and we'll also... I think we'll go have a peek at what the, um, the other part of this quest is with the witch and all that. It was really cool actually to play as Ciri um, and, and see a little bit of her powers. Um, like preview there so I, I imagine that we well I would hope anyway that we get to see more of that in the uh, in the rest of the playthrough um, but yes before I ramble on any further as I can do I want to give the biggest shout out to our members the lovely YouTube Boglins and a thank you to everyone for the support and for keeping me company on our adventures I really do appreciate it if you enjoyed this episode feel free to hit that like button and share any comments that you have I would appreciate no spoilers please and if you enjoyed our speedless shenanigans do consider subscribing to the channel and keep your eyes peeled for the next video this series will have weekly updates and we have other playthroughs happening in parallel as well all the links if you're interested are in the description below thank you so much for your time and for joining me today take care be good and don't forget to brush your teeth i'll see you soon bye